Today, we're going to touch on three quick topics. Uh, the first is a scam ring that we kind of uncovered yesterday. Uh, the second is uh, the account COVID relief, which is raising funds for COVID relief around the world. And the third is kind of the need for hashtags and search. So um, I'll start with this, the scam ring. Uh, yesterday, we noticed that there was an account uh, cloud alert Cloud Alerts, uh, or was it Alert Cloud? It was one or the other. And they were basically pumping up some new software they were coming out with. Uh, and then they were doing rug pulls. And, and I noticed that they did this like three times. So they would create this account, Cloud Alerts, and then they would they would pump up this, pump up this script that they're not actually working on, just like a phantom script, uh, get people to buy the coin and then rug pull and run off and then change the name of the account and then start all over again and do the same thing with the same exact name. So we alerted to it and a lot of people pulled their coin out, which was good. And the scammer then went on to create additional accounts. So the scammer is using other accounts. Uh, another one is CloudFi, F-Y, and BitFi, and they're doing the same exact thing. So just, just be on the lookout. And it's going to be people you know, saying they, they have... They have an elaborate system where they they basically post images of an app that they're developing, but it's not really an app that they're developing. They just create these these uh, images that appear to look like an app that runs on BitCloud. So just just yeah. be careful. And you can always reach out to people and ask others what they think before you buy the coin of something that might be a scam. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of potential of a few bad apples ruining the platform. So just, just be careful and, and don't buy any coin in anything unless you see that there's actually functioning functioning work going on behind the scenes. I've also um, noticed a lot of new accounts popping up where they take other accounts and they add one letter into the account name yeah. to make it appear to be a new account and hoping that people don't realize that the name doesn't make sense or the name has an extra letter in it. So just be careful. There's a lot of scammers popping up and hopefully things can get under control and help. hopefully the community can kind of help bring things together. Yeah, I, I, an example of that is this scam ring actually has an account high key and it has an underscore at the end. So they're trying to act like they're high key and then they're becoming followers of all these scam accounts. So it looks like, oh, high key is following them. So it's just a, an elaborate scheme. Just be careful. We'll, we'll keep calling them out as we find them. Uh, Let's move on to COVID relief, Ed. What you want to talk yeah, about? Yeah. So, that? so yesterday, Raj Lahodi, he's a big um, clubhouse OG in the in the big cloud space. He created the COVID the at COVID relief account on Big Cloud, and what he's doing is he is raising funds for COVID COVID relief. He has a founder reward set at fifty percent. So when you buy into the coin, fifty percent of that money will go to the COVID relief in BitCloud. And then they're gonna take that money and they have individuals who are willing to pay US dollars for the BitCloud. And they can then take that, take the US dollars and donate it to various charities centered around COVID relief. So it, it really took off heat. Raj actually announced it, that the account would be opening or lowering the founder reward from 100% to 50% at noon Pacific time yesterday. And as soon as it opened, it jumped up to like $400 and it, it raised a lot of money. So it's a great call. So you should check it out. Yeah. The, the last I saw like yesterday afternoon, maybe like two hours after it launches, he raised about $5,300 for COVID relief. I'm sure that's gone up a lot more since then. Uh, but uh, it, it was an interesting experiment for sure. And and there are some people that criticized and said, why don't you just tell people to donate directly to their COVID relief? But I think this actually generated more people actually donating because they saw it as a possible investment as well. So it was kind of a risk that they were taking, uh, but it, all, it was all going to a good cause even if they lost. So it, it was interesting. And, and I, I think it was, a, it was a good experiment and, and it's gonna help some people. So, so I, I don't have any complaints there. Yeah, and the final thing we're going to talk about today is what Brian and I think is one of the features that is needed the most on Big Cloud, and that's the need for hashtags and the ability to search. You know, hashtags give creators and gives people just browsing a social media website an easy way to find interests that they're looking for. So say, say you're interested in baseball, 
instead of having you just browse through BitCloud, follow a bunch of accounts, and hopefully you come across posts about baseball, if you can use hashtags, and every time you make a post about baseball, you put a hashtag baseball in it, then others can find other topics related to baseball. And this goes for any topic. And I, I think it's one thing that's keeping a lot of people off the platform right now because it's it's so disorganized. You can't really find content that you really want. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I, I think that, I don't know if it's keeping people off the platform, but once they get on, it's, it's kind of maybe turning them off a little bit because it's hard to find people who follow. It's hard to kind of find the content you really want because you either have your following stream or the global stream, which is curated by the by the people behind BitCloud. So, so you don't have a whole lot of options. It'll be nice to just be a search, put something in the search bar and find, find content related to that, uh, especially as a platform grows because it, there's going to be an overwhelming amount of posts in someone's following stream if you're following a lot of people. So definitely hashtags and search. I think that's they're going to be two features that will move this forward. And the only reason I think it hasn't it hasn't been uh, rolled out yet is just because it's it's server intensive. Uh, it takes up a lot of uh, resources to run searches through large databases. So I'm, I think I'm really surprised that they had that a third party hasn't come out with a search feature for BitCloud yet. You, yeah, I, I know it Raj, wouldn't be that hard. I, I, I know Raj has searched BitCloud, uh, where it basically searches all the Google database, uh, what what's in the Google database, but it's it's a little bit sloppy because it's picking up a lot of uh, stuff that's not really that and, important. And, it, and Google's still a little slow, I think, indexing BitCloud and new user accounts, et cetera. So, so I think if somebody could create a site that could actually look at the database and search it for phrases and keywords. I think that would be a great feature until BitCloud does it themselves. Yeah, and, and and I'm I'm guessing that maybe that's what they're waiting for. Maybe they're like, hey, we don't need to roll out all these features because third parties can roll them out. But but I, I do think that since they're like the the showcase platform, the showcase node, the showcase website that they they should have a search feature because that's where that's it's kind of the face of BitCloud right now. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. I, I, think it's some, I think it's something they need to put out and they need to put it out soon. All right, well, I guess that wraps up day 48 of uh, our BitCloud journey. Uh, stay tuned for day 49 tomorrow. It's a weekend. We'll still try and do this, though, uh, whether it's on our phones or on this Zoom call. Um, we're going to try and do this every day, so, so stay tuned and... Uh, you can follow along with us. I, I think we're going to start bringing some guests onto these uh, daily shows too at some point. So if you're interested, feel free to reach out and maybe you can be on our Zoom call. See you guys.